Okay, in this problem, uh, this is a related rates problem uh, dealing with a cube. So before we do anything, let's try to draw a picture of a cube. So a cube, uh, the way I learned how to draw it is you draw a box, looks pretty good. Then you draw another box, and then you do something like this. There's, there's my cube. Now, I don't know if that's the best cube um, in the world, uh, but that's how I draw my cube. I think some of these lines are supposed to be dotted. Okay, uh, let's just call the edges x. So that's x, that's x, and that's x. All right, now let's read the problem. It says all edges of a cube, every single one, are expanding at a rate of 5 centimeters per second. Well, according to our picture, x is the edge. That tells us that dx dt is equal to 5 because it's expanding. If the cube was shrinking, if it was a magical cube and it was shrinking, we would have a negative 5 here. But no, it's expanding. So we have a positive 5. So we're given dx dt equals 5. Then we want to know how fast the surface area is changing when each edge is 3 centimeters. So if we let s be the surface area, we need ds dt at the moment in time when each edge is 3 centimeters. So Every time you do a related rates problem, I think it's a really good idea to write down what's going on. So what you're given and what you need. It makes it a lot easier to do the problem. Okay, so we need a formula for the surface area. So a cube has six sides. And each side has the same width and length. So the area of one side is length times width, so x times x, which is x squared. Since there's six sides, the surface area should be 6x squared. All right, we're ready to continue. So ds dt will differentiate with respect to time. That's going to be 12x times dx dt. That's the chain rule uh, or implicit differentiation. All right, at this point, we're ready to plug in dx dt. We know what that is. That's 5. So ds dt is 12x times 5. So that will be 60x. The question is asking for ds dt when x equals 3. So all we have to do now is plug in 3. So to finish, ds dt at the moment in time when x is equal to 3 is equal to 60 times 3. So 180 centimeters squared per second. And that's it.